Hey guys, welcome back to A Taste of Ipsy. I'm your host, Sydney, and I'm here with Chef Will. And today we're gonna to be making fried cabbage. Right. Well, it's technically it's stewed, but I've always called it fried. But okay. it, um, so what we're gonna do, um, I've already got my cabbage split in half, uh -huh. take out the core of the bottom. Um, you take um, approximately a stick of butter, um, A lot of butter, but I like a lot of butter, so that's okay. Get the fire going to a, a medium low, mm -hmm. and you melt your butter in your pan. Is that a special kind of pan? It looks it's, it's very a okay. I know. Um, normally I make it in a um, in a pot, mm -hmm. but for the video I'm doing a. A walk. A walk that way. What's the difference between a walk and a normal? A pot is kind of, you'll make a stew in a, in a mm -hmm. pot and a walk is like stir fry. Stuff okay, like that. yeah, I was about to say, I feel like that's more about right, And then you, your cabbage, fry. you just take it, um, you make your slices. Mm -hmm. I've never had cabbage. I'm super excited. Um, and then turn it crossways. Okay. And you wanna just, just dicing up the cabbage. Mm -hmm. Um, I've always loved the smell of cabbage. It does smell really good. Once your butter gets melted, mm -hmm. what are we putting the butter in there for? What's the purpose? That, it, it gives a liquid uh -huh. to allow the the steam to cook down the cabbage. Okay. And we'll take this. How long does it take for that to cook down? Um, the whole cooking down process, it generally takes about 25 to 30 minutes. Um, But we have things to keep you busy. And then your onion. Why are you cutting it like that? I'm gonna show you a trick. See what you do, when you get your onion, Okay. you cut off, you have the root on one end, uh -huh. and then you have the bud on the other. Okay. You slice the bud off, mm -hmm. cut it in half, and then you make your slices almost down to your root. Mm -hmm. And then you come back across and it's an automatic dice. Wow. I can't it's, believe I've never seen it's that before. It's the quickest, easiest, simplest way. Yeah. And it cuts a lot down on the crime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've not cut onions in a long time because of the crying. It, uh, I cut, uh, we cut up a 50 pound bag of onions the other day and oh not, gosh. One, not one tear was shed. Oh, I probably would have messed up and ended up crying. And then you throw the half onion in there with that. What made onion. you choose onions to put in there? This is a sweet onion. Okay. Um, when I originally found the recipe, it didn't call for it, mm -hmm. but that was two and a half years ago. And over time, I've just kind of tweaked it mm -hmm. here and there to make it my own. So everything that goes in here works off of each other. The onion, the sweet onion, the cabbage, the rotel. I have a, a Tony Satry's pepper mixture here. Okay. Uh, and you just season the taste. Mm -hmm. Um, I like it a little bit more spicy. Some folks might not. I'm definitely a salty person. Well, here's something you might not know about salt. Okay. Your Tony's has a, um, um, uh, sodium content of 
I so did not know that, that and sodium is your salt. Mm -hmm. So if you put Tony's in something and then put salt in something, you're doubling yeah. your salt intake. So here's a brand new way to cut your your slice your uh, squash. You've seen people just slice them mm -hmm. down that way. What That's you how do, I do it at home. <laughs> yeah. So you have your your squash is big here, little here. So your bigger slice is going to take longer to cook than your the smaller one. So what you do is you go on a 45, rotate, 45, oh my goodness. rotate. Yeah, at my house we just do a three go away. But wow. you see how all those pieces yeah, are, the same. are relatively the same. Wow, that's really cool. I didn't. I didn't know that the little ones take longer. Well, no, the, the bigger ones, the, the, the size yeah. of them. And then you take that in and you slice it in half. Throw the squash in there. Mm -hmm. How long does it take for the squash to cook? Um, the squash, where I put it in the order of how it goes into the pot makes it cook down like it'll be done by the time everything okay. is done. So, and then we, um, we come back with our second head of cabbage, or second half of a head. Mm -hmm. So how long have you been here at Bipsy? Uh, I started in August. Um, this August? Yeah, this past August. Wow. Right um, what do you want to do after you graduate? It's a very good question. <laughs> Haven't thought that um, far ahead yet. <laughs> well, I, I came in with an idea. Um, maybe, you know, going to work at, you know, one of the casinos or mm -hmm. something like that. But since I've been here, um, there's a whole lot more opportunities out there than just that. Yeah. So, and this right that I'm adding now is just a uh, regular Rotel. Um, it adds a little bit more flavor and some more juices. Mm -hmm. mixture. Yeah, I was surprised uh, to see that being added in, but it looks really, really good. And then we're going to go to some smoked sausage. Ah, I love smoked sausage. And we're just going to slice this up. Okay. Why do you choose sausage? Just it just, it, it works best. <laughs> I think it, sausage is good in anything. It is. And I, I tried um, cooking the sausage before I did it. Mm -hmm. um, it don't work out. If you if you put it in there uncooked, it allows the juices to go into the sausage. That sounds good. So it, it's, it's a whole lot better. So what we'll do is we'll take this. Okay. Throw that over there. And then we'll just get here. And give it a good toss. It looks like a really good salad. <laughs> and then this takes, like I said, probably another um, 20 to 25 minutes to cook down. Okay. Um, while it's cooking down, I like to take, make a pan of sweet cornbread um, to go with it, you know, on the side, or I, you know, I'll crumble it up in a bowl and then put this Ooh, over top. That of sounds it. really good. So we just. Let that cook? Let that cook. All right, well, we're gonna let this cook and then we'll be right back with the finished product. Thank you. Tools you need to succeed on the air, B, P, C, C. 
broadcasting, TV production, wanna be on television, we can get you started, every day the photo shoot, got fine art photography, know the film up, also making documentaries, graphic designers, real fun, Photoshop, illustrators, characters come alive with computer animation, we got sound recorded with studio production without the training, how could I record this greatest, lights, camera, action, come alive and be creative, business of music, maybe you could be my next agent, media for me. The street, pitches where you want to be. Looking for all the majors that breed creativity. Communication media ain't for the wannabes. Yeah, it's only for the gonna be. Got cool professors, master your craft with ease. Cool professors, master your craft with ease. Okay, guys, welcome back. We are still here with Chef Will, and now we have some cornbread in our plate, some delicious cornbread, and we are about to try the cabbage. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. I'm really nervous because I really have never had cabbage other than like raw, you know, shredded. And then you want to make sure you get some juice. Of course. All right, and then... I'm super excited. Okay. Tell me what's in it. There we go, okay. I'm gonna try and get a little bit of everything. Okay, that'll do. Oh my gosh, it's really good. Thank you. Amazing. I literally wanna eat the whole thing. Okay, well, that's all the time we have today. Thank you, Chef Will. This was like the best thing I've ever eaten in my whole life. And we'll see you guys back next week.